The Play Action Podcast is fueled by Picasso's Pizza, where every night is pizza night. Welcome to a special edition of the Play Action Podcast. We have uh, just gotten the news that uh, the Bills have fired offensive coordinator Ken Dorsey. We're uh, taping this at uh, 1230 in the afternoon. Uh, Catherine, uh, let's uh, real quick, uh, your uh, gut reaction here to uh, this big change with the Bills in crisis. Yeah, so I think there's a few things true as they've let go of Ken Dorsey. Joe Brady will serve as interim OC. Um, but I think just kind of all at once, the Bills needed to do something. This offense has not looked just as itself for a while now. It's looked kind of broken, but I still don't know how much this fixes. You know, I think both of those can be true at once of, you know, even without Ken Dorsey now, what stood out to me last night in the loss to the Denver Broncos, which let's be real, was a bad loss, um, were the turnovers. And those are not, you know, at the hands of the offensive coordinator. So Sean McDermott said after the game that he was still confident in Ken Dorsey, but we need to be better, basically, is what he was implying, um, and that they could be. So we'll see what exactly this does. Um, I understand the need to have the perception that the team is doing everything they can to figure this out, but I'm curious how much actually changes on this offense uh, for the remaining seven games of the season. Yeah. I, I, you know, you make a point of turnovers. I mean, the, really the, uh, we can, we'll get into things that could be better here with the way the offense is going, but turnovers are the number one problem the team has had, including last night when they had one, two, three, four, uh, four turnovers, the two of them, Josh Allen's fault. Uh, and then they also had a turnover on downs, which let's blame that one on Ken Dorsey, but you, you, you're not beating most teams when you have five turnovers. And in fact, Denver beat Kansas city because team Kansas city had five turnovers. I, you know, as far as I, one problem, one big problem that I don't know if this fixes is Josh Allen's head is not clear. Uh, and he has regressed. Uh, he is making too many turnovers last night. Again, three of the last four games, a horrendous decision by Josh. So, uh, I, you know, I think that that is one of Ken Dorsey's biggest, uh, knocks is that he has not been able to get the best out of his superstar quarterback. And Joe Brady as the quarterback's coach has not, uh, uh, has not been able to get Josh's head right. And his head is not right. Yeah. I think when you look at it that way, there's so many things that go into being an offensive coordinator, right? Like obviously there's the play calling the scheming, but there's also coaching your guys up when things aren't happening. And I don't know if we've seen that to the extent we needed to with Josh Allen recently. Um, you know, he's had the string of interceptions, um, just some bad decisions in general. And even, you know, there are critiques too for the play calling, whether or not they were going up tempo soon enough, stuff like that. But I think still um, just the ability to get the best out of players. And Ken Dorsey has good relationships with these guys. I, I think very Wyatt, highly of him. This is Josh's yeah. pick as Ken Dorsey. It was Josh's right. pick. Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, think very highly of him as a person. But I think, you know, when we see what's happening on the field, there's some disconnect between getting the best out of Josh Allen, and that's the guy you really need to get the best out of. Yeah, and so now let's talk a little bit about scheme. Uh, you know, they they ended last season with the the possession passing game being a giant problem. We can't work the middle of the field. Uh, they draft Kincaid. The the move to improve the possession passing game actually has worked, but it has come with. Uh, sacrificing some of the downfield passing. And I think a couple of legitimate criticisms you can make is downfield passing. They haven't quite done enough under center play action uh, game to try to get, push the ball downfield. And I think that's on Dorsey. Uh, they, we've also struggled a little bit with that identity. Le is, are we, is it letting Josh cook or not? Uh, they've gone up tempo some, uh, which, which worked against Tampa. Um, but I think, uh, 
and, and I think there hasn't been quite enough scheming up to utilize the talent. We saw scheming up to get Gabe Davis open, but they've done nothing for, they had an, a decent sized investment in Deontay Hardy, done nothing to get him the ball, essentially. That's on Dorsey. Uh, more motion, more play action, more under center. I think that's what we will see with Joe Brady. Uh, and, and, you know, and also I think we haven't seen enough variety versus the opponent. It's been, we've got our concepts and we're going to let Josh go to the open man, but a week to week variety difference versus attacking the opponent has not been as much as we've seen versus Dable. So those are some scheme things um, that I think uh, it's on Joe Brady to try to incorporate. There's a lot to dive into here. Obviously, we'll have another episode on Wednesday going through everything on the bills, but just kind of those are our initial thoughts on the Ken Dorsey firing. Um, again, seven games left in the regular season for the bills to figure out what exactly this means for them long term. But we'll be chronicling all that for y'all. So make sure you subscribe wherever you get your podcast. Check back later in this week and keep reading more on buffalonews.com as this develops. Treat your team to the most flavorful pizza on game day at Picasso's Pizza. Four great Western New York locations. Williamsville, West Seneca, Lancaster, and Blaisdell. Picasso's. We are Buffalo's Pizza since 1980. Order online today at picassospizza.net.